some detailed tips on how to get that HD that you've always wanted and also about ourselves we both are tutors so we feel like we are qualified enough to make this video yeah. <laughs> and we have all HDs so far and we both are Deakin University students she so wants to become a nutritionist and I'm gonna become a doctor we have dealt with a variety of students and help them score very well yeah. So the first tip is always complete your assignments ahead of your due date. So um, like what I would do is that I would schedule some time way before the due date. Plan what you're going to do on this day, that day, this day, that day. Yeah. So for me, how it works is, you know, if the due date is on 7th of July, yeah. I'm going to set my head that the due date is 1st of July. So I just tell myself that it is due one week before and yeah. I just like force myself to get it done by then. So you know when you can read about the instructions and everything, I go through it right away on the same day and try to find some answers. So it's like, you know, we are not lost. Like that is how I deal with it. Yeah, and another thing I would like to add is that when you get your assignments like done, like even one week before the deadline, you might have so many questions. Like you can ask them like on a discussion board of the unit um, yeah. side. Yeah. Or you can ask the teacher in advance. Yeah. So it's much better to get it uh, done ahead of time. Yeah, so you can like yeah. get it perfect because this video is about being perfect with the gray. I always aim for 100%, but there's always something we can change mm -hmm. to make it better. So I just keep working on it till I submit it, which is not a good thing, but you know, we get anxious because we need that perfection. So don't take assignments seriously because they just try to focus on the unit content. But what it does is those assignments are worth something to your final grade as well. So if you try to get that percentage before the exam, it just helps you save a lot of percentage. It's better to not lose anything before the exams, like always aim for that. 100%. And yeah. the second tip for you is always have study buddies so that you can we study. We were with. study buddies. Oh <laughs> That's my how God. we are friends. Like this is the first time we are meeting. We were online study yeah. buddies. And I feel like I, I do much better when I have a study buddy with me. And you need to find people like you who are committed, who are dedicated, and who, who would always show up in time in the meeting. Even on Sundays, like people usually like sleep or like yes. go to parties, but at 9 p.m. we were studying. Finding the right one is very important. And once you get that, it's a blessing. The third tip is to always ask questions. Don't be afraid of these lecturers who, like, if you think like, ah, oh, this lecturer might judge me because I ask a silly question. No, that won't happen. It's the lecturer's job to explain you every single thing. Even if you don't understand it, it's not that the lecturer will judge you if you ask questions. Like, always ask questions after the class. It's okay to be, to be the student who lines up and asks a lot of questions as long as you're understanding every single thing that's been that taught. is what matters and you know what it's really good to have a curious mind try and make write notes. questions yeah. yeah make notes of your questions yeah. like when you're in the lecture like try and write it down in a piece of paper yeah. and then you can bring that piece of paper and ask the question like think about it you have 10 to 11 topics you're asking questions in every topic you're making sure you're understanding everything what you're being taught in the class like preparing for the exam as well from the beginning which yeah. is a good thing 100% and the fourth tip for you is revise four weeks before the exam. Look, if, you, if you're the type of person who cramps the night before, mm -hmm. I wouldn't advise you to do that and stay up till late night. It might work for you, but it's not the best thing you can do. It's not uh, the best option. And what happens is when you're doing that, when you're studying overnight, I know you might be having a feeling that if I sleep eight hours, knowing nothing <laughs> it's not worth sleeping what am i going to memorize you wouldn't be able to remember like your memory goes yeah. down like you wouldn't be able to keep yeah. so much of information in your head for the next exam yeah. so what i would advise is just like for example if your exam is on week 12 study from week 8 um study the content and then study it again yeah. plan your week ahead of time five like all the content i'm gonna ask questions i'm gonna study i'm gonna explain it to my friends or anything that works so that it's not messed up like plan your hours your day i think it's very important 100%. always prepare ahead of time yeah um the next step i would give you is to like nail like nail the learning objectives try and answer every learning objective you can find you said before find a study buddy so that you can answer all of the learning objectives with your study buddy yeah. 
it's basically what is examinable. Yeah. So outside the learning objectives, usually in most units, it's not examinable. Yeah. <laughs> but it's always good to have a good understanding of what's, what the learning objective covers. Given the fact that we're going through a difficult time, a pandemic, yeah. the exams will be open book. But imagine yeah. if like you have the answer in a paper in your notebook to all of the learning objectives. Objective. Imagine how well you will do for the exam. Like, yeah. And always before you start the unit, Always try to look at the learning objectives beforehand and whenever the lecturer is teaching you something, try to answer them in your head and try to make note of those parts. The tip number six for you all is, it's called Pomodoro Technique. It's like, like the 80-20 technique. The 80-20 yeah. technique is when like you study for 80 minutes, then you take a break for 20 minutes and then do the same thing. Yeah. If that works for you, go and do that. Like, yeah. But some people might benefit from this forest app. So tell forest us more app. about yeah. the forest so app. So what a forest app is, it's actually an app where where you are concentrated and you're not using anything else in your phone so you're studying during that time and while you're studying the plants grow and oh, um, wow. and then you set a time the plants are growing and if you go and use social medias the plants are gonna die so it sort of motivates you to stop. yeah it's like you, you get sad but you can put it as less as 40 minutes and then you can take that 20 minutes break and exercise a bit, which is important. Creation is very important. You can't only study and fill your brain with 100%, 100%. studies. There has to be moments where you are chilling and you're not thinking about anything. Meditate and, you know, listen to music. I think music and dance are the best thing that you can think of for recreation. Yeah. Yeah. Next tip I would I'll recommend is to always explain like... Um, what's been taught in the lecture like every topic to your friends to your study buddies yeah because this will like help you understand like what are the things that you need more practice on and what like it sort of advances your understanding did that to each other like we explained each other the entire topics yeah and there were some things that i was confused with even while i was explaining we found it out together the next one is planning your semester ahead of time so can you believe this like a lot of people don't really plan anything. They just tell themselves that I'm going to go with the flow. <laughs> Whenever there's a test, they're going to study. We start to plan your semester ahead of time. So say your semester is starting next week. Unit sites become available ahead of time. You can go through it. You can, you can at least you know that there are 12 topics each. And you can divide time for each of them. Like divide 30 time minutes. To study. Yeah, so 30 minutes a day for each unit. It's not much, like is it? It's not that much. Like I if mean, you think of it, like you've got 24 hours in a day, guys. Like you can work, you can study, you can do whatever you want, but as long as you're committing to your studies, all is good. Yeah. Make sure that you're attending the lectures. I don't think we need to keep repeating that about how important it is. Keep watching the lectures, never miss your lectures. You can watch the recordings if you're working or something because you can pause it, 100%. you can make notes, you can go back. I know, back. like I do 100% do definitely better with recordings. Make sure that you're attending the lectures, right? You're, you're getting something out of it. And after that, spend that 30 minutes a day yeah. to answer the questions. Like planning yeah. is key. 100%. I love planning my semester. Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> don't usually plan like the day or time. But I think that is something I need to work on as well because we all are students. But what I do right now is I have this mindset that we have week one, week two, week three, week four, right? So my goal is by the end of week one, I'm going to understand all the difficult topics. I'm not going to leave anything that I don't understand. Yeah. I'm going to try to understand every single topic from all the units I'm doing by the end of the week. So it could be weekends, it could be Fridays, you know, any day. But I'm going to do that by the end of the week. Ninth tip. I would give you is to always have work-life balance and please don't be hard on yourself guys it's okay be patient with yourself and always be compassionate towards yourself because like good grades or even like any success that you want in life it doesn't take a day it doesn't take a minute it takes effort mm -hmm. you guys need to exercise you need to have a healthy work-life balance you need to like do some recreational activities what I would suggest is to make a to-do list so yeah, and plan some time for you to just like take a break from everything like um, maybe it could be like drawing dancing or maybe making tiktok videos you know <laughs> just like something <laughs> that will make you that's happy. what I do yeah they study overnight but they're not getting the results I think it's because they're not doing the right thing they are working hard but they're not putting that effort on the right thing and I feel like a lot, lot, lot of people are going through the same thing. They deserve to get HDs, but they're not getting it. They're just staying in distinction or like pass or just the average grade. Because they're not having this work-life balance. 
if you're stressed like try and have like a walk outside or try and relax like there's so many ways to de-stress and always be nice and compassionate towards yourself guys. i do that before i sleep some people do that after they wake up but before i sleep i write what i need to do tomorrow so i just overwrite things because i know that i'm not going to complete it i just overwrite them i also make a not to do list i'm not sure if you have been doing that but it is so important because we all know what we waste our time in right 100% we make tiktok videos and you know stuff like that <laughs> <laughs> I told myself i'm going to make this not to do list and i'm not going to do that until i get a lot of things done so important things first those things are important but on in the breaks not the entire day 100%. and good grades does not come in one day it takes time it is very important that you are appreciating what you have been doing making a change is very difficult and even if you are making a little change in your life you need to appreciate yourself for that mm -hmm. and wait till you get those hats d <laughs> and the last yes. tip for you is because we both are mentors right we have mentors we are tutors we do coaching for the students and everything we might not be able to help you with your units if you're not doing health sciences or nutrition um, medicine sciences, or yeah. Yeah, nutrition but what we can do is if you're struggling with something like if you're just getting average scores even though you're working hard or if you're finding it hard to balance your life with work and stuff because i am a part time worker i work at two to three friend places and i have like two jobs yeah, yeah. and then i do a lot of volunteering i do tutoring Same. i have these appointments yeah. and i do a lot of things but i still manage to give some time it's like a habit you can still get high scores and if you want some personalized help with scheduling your timetable we both are here we can book an appointment with us the first appointment is free for all of you for all of you and if you're studying nutrition biomedicine or medical science or anything i'm pretty sure you're doing the units that we have already done you can book us through student vip link i'm going to put it below please do check it out and if you want more videos like this please subscribe and hit the like button below <laughs> and put on a lovely comment and, and share like, it guys it will mean the world to us 100% like i that really is what, appreciate that is your what, comments that is what will motivate us to make more videos for you guys if this helped you please come back and uh, let us know your story tell us and you can simply message me on instagram if you want we get a lot of attention i'm gonna put a youtube video saying how our video has helped a lot of people and how you have changed your habits and what's the difference between the before and after you so i hope that was it do you want to watch it oh <laughs>